Hi, good day. It's Dexter, Flora Magnifica. So today I'm going to be showing you how we deflask, clean and plant these Monstera Thai constellation. So join me. All right, so we start. We have here the flask. So we also have our tray where we put the plant lets after cleaning them, I, just, I like lining the bottom with a clean paper. So, pop it open. Got a lot of plants in there, just need to be careful in pulling them out. Now, um, I like using this. This is a, a hook, a metal hook that I grabbed from hardware you can probably use a, a stick or make your own hook something like that because um, I like to hook them up and then pull them out or use these to break the agar just so I can easily pull them out one by one if they all want to come out as, as a whole then that's fine so maybe let's let's try and, and do it as a whole I'll show you so get our hook inside and I like to twist that uh, try to crack each plant off the agar I think we've got five cracked and then push it down so it can easily come out as one right let's put that flask on the side and then focus on this one so there's a lot of roots in there you get that going I like to give it a little bit of warm not really super warm but just just for my hands as well anyway and then see which one I can take out so by the way um, I have cleaned the uh, the sink before I started cleaning with soap and water just so when you need to put down the, the plants that's fine so something like that um, this one here is an old PDO looks like it's gonna die enough um, soon enough anyway so take that off and that's pretty much clean there's four leaves there put in the tray Maybe I'd like to get that water just dribbling, not really like that, yeah. And get our next plant. Okay, so we have our plantlets here, clean plantlets. Now we're going to have to plant them in small pots. We use this 50 by 50 seedling tray, which we cut into individual pots. It's easier for us. And then we have these chopped sphagnum moss and perlite mixed sphagnum moss been soaked in fertilizer and nutrient and then we finally chopped it it's probably around 90% sphagnum 10% of the perlite so let's let's start planting okay what I normally like to do is put a little bit down the bottom I like to seed it not very deep but you know just just some uh, maybe five mils from the top of the lid so I wanna, I wanna put more and also remember to that when you put it loose and then when you pat it it will still go down a little bit so That looks like there's too much there, but uh, like I said, I just pat it. I don't push it down because when you push it down, it's just gonna, gonna break the, the very fragile roots of this plant. So once that's planted, I, I top up a little bit at the top, just so they will have enough media in there. And that's it. 
and I put it on a tray next to the old ones which have acclimated some growth of algae on the media which is fine they don't harm the plant so you can see the older leaves that have developed inside the flask are curly so you'll see some curly leaves there but the new leaf that's developed outside of the flask is uh, looking like they're looking flat like a normal leaf should should look like yeah so that's that one there is flat that's curly leaf when it's developed inside the flask this is probably still inside so yeah you'll see the difference there anyway all right let's let's get going ah, it's full already so put it in there and have to close this lead that It in a box so that's how we do it um, hope you pick up something from that if you got any questions maybe put it in the comment below and see you next time